Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, right, we're back in the garden workshop. Yay, look, it's beautiful sunshine. Right, I've got a couple of jobs to do on the KTM, the new bike. So it didn't come with indicators. Like I said before, the guy bought it off the motocross, so he didn't need indicators and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so I'm going to put some on. I'm going to change the handguards as well, because the handguards are very, very tatty. So what I've done is I've got integrated handguards and indicators. I've got new ones to put on the back. This is all LED, by the way. <clears throat> I currently have in my indicator switch, you know, your little selector, I have the heated hand grips wired into that because that's how it came. So I've got a new indicator switch selector, turn signal thing. I'm going to put that on as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to strip the front off, get the headlight off so we can get to all the cables, tidy them up a bit, and then fit the new indicator switch as well. And then, and then, fit the new heated hand grip switch, then fit the hand guards with the LED indicators in them, and then fit the rear ones as well. I've got a harness for that. Can't remember where I put it though, so I'm going to do some digging in a minute. Anyway, I'll show you what we've got, what goodies we've got, and then we'll go fit them, shall we? So the new hand guards are sick ass. The flasher relay is sick ass. The rear wiring harness is official KTM. The indicator switch is official KTM. Uh, that's a key switch for a different job. That's the turn signal indicator, you know, on your little dashboardy bit, the LED version. That's the rear indicators. And these are the hand guards that go over those and have the turn signals built into them. I'll undo this Phillips screw from behind, which actually I think it's a JIS to be honest, given the shape of the head. Pop that out. Stick the screw back in. Or just do that. Oh, I got a crap in there. Let's give all that a clean up. And that's the indicator flasher relay there, which has to come off and put the new one on its place. Right, so the next job, now we've got the hand guards off. Before I clean all this up, here's I'm going to get this connector on. So get the old one off, cut the cable ties, dangle that one down and fit this one. Oh, that's a shame, they're nice cable ties. Nice, good quality ones. in there look at the state of that <sighs> mud central so like I say this currently controls the heated grips so we'll take it around here I'm either going to just clip that directly to the inside of the headlight fairing there so I've got access to it or I'm going to take it off and put the other switch on that I've got so let's put these screws there It's not that because I don't want to be too long. Maybe them little short ones then. So for anyone who's not done one of these before, there's a little cutout in the receiver for this, for the cable to run through, because otherwise you'd crimp your cable flat on it. This then ropes down here, follows the rest of the cables underneath, and then just plug straight in there. 
on that one. But, as you may have seen, I shall give you a quick zoom in now. It is filthy in there. Unmount. Look at the state of that. He's very marky. So then, because this has been sat for a little while, I've just used contact cleaner on it, I've got that air. I'm just going to give it a quick... It's quite a WD. And the only reason I'm doing that is in case there's any debris in there when I push this plug on. That should be it, wired in now. So the next thing is, get an indicator plugged into it and check it actually works. Right, let's get this flash and relay off so we can get the new one on. Should put the bolt up here for safekeeping. So this thing, you sure it bolted on, and then all it is is a little clip there. Unclip that, pull that out. Again, we'll give that a little squirt before we put the new one on. Here is the new part, flasher for LED. Pop it in, see it clicks and locates. Fire that in there. Pop your bolt in. There we go. You are using power tools, make sure the torque's right down on your drill. That clicking noise is what you want to hear. If you don't hear that clicking noise, the next one you'll hear is you rounding out the head, which a lot of people do. Okay, that's that done. There is a lot of crap in there. Now that should be the other side, I think, given the writing, but we'll give it a go, can't we? One flashing indicator. Right, so first things first, this that's the fuel injection light, so pull the front one out, which is this one. We take that out and we pull the bulb. That's it, bulb out. We take this and we put this into where the bulb went. And this then pops up into there. It can go along that. Now this has to wire onto one of the reg rec bolts. Okay, battery's about to die. Right, so this is the sick ass hand guard and it comes with these little split bolts so you put them in one end this one's threaded on this end this one's not and when it does up it will splay these apart and grip i've only ever seen this type before which has come off the old cycra ones where it splays them out and grips this one never seen so we're going to give that a go for the first one it's a shot of it from the side so you can see it's in two pieces essentially they're just going to slide up that's going to pull in tighter and push that apart this is the grip that grips your handlebars on the middle bit which i'll come to in a little bit uh, and you get two sets of everything. Dober, slot it in, see what happens. There you go, sick ass racing. So slide you in the hole. This one goes underneath. Oops. So that one 
goes under there, it does up on there. Let's get this. so you get the idea that's going to sit there then all your little cables and this is the nice thing the cycle ones don't do this the cycle ones are pushing on here and pushing against the headlight hopefully I've got enough room there now so to get a socket pinch these up see if that'll tie see if that'll do up see if that one will do up as well let's give that a go now that four Taking. To be honest, there's not a lot of room there, is there? I mean, you don't need a lot of room. You see enough to get your fingers in there, but yeah, it's pretty close. Cuts down the profile a little bit, I guess. So let's get these done up first, shall we? looks about right. Now as you'll have seen from all of the videos that I make about absolutely everything, nothing I do is ever perfect or correct. New round. Now you see, that's that one pinched up. So you get two little allen bolts, take your formula allen key, take the cable, feed it up across there, because we need to stick some cable ties back around this bit, take that down, feed that down, make sure it goes underneath your, uh, your cables here, there you there. I'm going to feed that up there so there's not so much strain on it. And then clip it in. As you can see, no indicators on currently. Let's go left. See that? Left one flashing. Not only that, the little indicator there is flashing. Left one's off. Right one's on. And the little indicator light's flashing. I only had these out a few days ago. I'm going to leave the bolts on the tyre because I don't plan on moving the bike anywhere. And that's that done. Little cup washer. And then these ones, I think, are a 6mm Allen, a uh, 6mm socket. Indeed it is a six. And these have got a nice big coarse thread on them, like a wood screw. Put that into the tyre. So again, they're pretty easy to undo. And then that whole unit drops down. Easy, don't they? Oh, the edge just pokes through. No, it doesn't, big liars. Nothing ever just pokes through. There's no such thing as just. Colour was what side? So that's going to be my main hole, and that's going to be the hole my plug goes through. Hmm, that's better. Right, and then behind it, the cable.
Well, that's screwed on there, it's not going anywhere. I'm putting that cable up. Through there. And you're onto the green one. Yeah, you can see where the cable comes from. So there'll be a bit of exposed cable there, but that's not the middle of there's the screw. This one, we just poke that through the hole. Where's the screwdriver gone? Right, so let's go left. Yeah, where that plug broke off, I'm just going to heat the strip there, and that'll be that done. That one's flashing away. The indicator's fitted, that's the uh, new hand wraps fitted. Looking pretty slick actually, they look a lot better than the Cycro ones that I took off which were pretty old and tatty. Indicators are all working, I did pop a fuse, uh, slight technical hitch with the rear one, but as you see it's not a particularly difficult job. Like I said with the key switch one and everything else I do, if I can do it, any monkey can do it. Uh, and don't forget, get yourself a discount, go buy them over at Trail Riders Warehouse, there'll be a link in the description below. You get 5% off, five with code DT, Delta Tango 5. That gives you 5% off and free shipping. You get 10% off and free shipping with code DT, Delta Tango 10. That's 10% off and free shipping. That's a pretty good deal in my book. Uh, yeah, go see the guys over there. Get yourself some bits. I think these look pretty snazzy, actually, if I do say so myself. Anyway, thanks for watching again, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.